this is the third time I've done this video today hopefully this will be my last take on this video um, okay here's the deal I want to start something that everybody can relate to I want you to get on your cameras because you will not be allowed to type in any comments on this and I want you to tell a story and the story must be made of two parts tell what you remember about family as a child and tell me in the world what's missing from family now that you're an adult um, there's one more aspect to this if you're watching this series of videos I hope will last way over a hundred videos I want you to understand this if someone says something that you were gonna say that's too bad don't just agree with them and not say anything you are also encouraged to light up your camera and say what you remember and what you see is missing that's all I'm asking you I don't want you to, to sit there and and think of what to say because it's already in your brain it's already you already know that good moment and you already see what's missing I want you to tell your story I don't want you to think that um you know I just heard uh, Grady Green say what I was gonna say so I'm not gonna say anything um, no 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 I just heard Father Judgment say what I was gonna say so I'm not gonna say anything cuz I agree with him no no this is the video this is the original and I don't think anybody's gonna do anything like this tell the truth I remember if, if it's a good uh, moment tell it if it's a bad moment tell it tell the truth this is gonna be a chronicle what I remember about family you know that and then what's missing tell it and one more thing one more request and this this is uh, something that's personal for you if you're telling a story about someone's dead say their name if any of these people are alive change the names that way the dead people will at least get some kind of honor in your story rather they were good or bad to you that way when you go back and, and know that so many people have watched your video that they, they know that this person you know so I'm gonna start this off with my two stories I remember we used to have these uh, family outings and, you know we go to different places you know what I'm gonna tell a different one you know one of my best memories is I think it's the 4th of July and every 4th of July my grandmother would make this great big giant spread of food and all the family would come in from all over the Bay Area to a little small town called Rodejo and on that back porch at 130 California Street Oh yeah, I'm telling it all. We used to um, make ice cream in the old-fashioned ice cream maker. She put the rock salt and the ice in there. She'd have her cream and all that stuff in there, and we'd be turning the ice cream. And the difference with my grandmother's ice cream and everybody else's ice cream is, a lot of people start turning the ice cream when people show up. No. That ice cream would start at 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Well, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> you know how I talk sometimes. And then we stir the ice cream. And by the time 6 o'clock came around, damn near everybody in the family who showed up had stirred the ice cream. And when she opened it up, you know, you just, just knew. You, <laughs> it was not a treat. It was a blessing to get some of that. And the way she'd make her pound cake, and she'd cut it so thin. 
you could damn near see through it. But it was so rich that all you need is that one little, that one little sliver is all you need. And you just want to melt. Those were the times you get to see all your cousins and everybody. And it was fun. And now the bad news. What's missing? What's missing is the older people that drew. It's like it's like uh, going to see a headliner. Ooh, such and such is in town. And everybody wanted to go see that person. Each family had a, a person that was like a celebrity. You know, that, that one uncle or cousin that was like a celebrity. And every when he did something or she did something, people went. They were there. That's messy. The unity factor. The family factor is missing. No. Now that our government has turned us all into individuals, we only think about our immediate family. Not always consist of a wife and a child, or a wife and two kids. The nuclear family. What's missing are the days when everyone sat around the dinner table. So I'm going to let everybody else say what else I'm thinking. And whoever's next, I hope you can capture people. Because now I'm missing grandma. Now we have events and my brother-in-law brings over the ice cream that he makes. It's an electric machine. Nobody having to turn the handle. He still got to put the ice the salt and the cream. It's just a little different because the feeling that grandma's not there to oversee the, the cornbread. The elders have left the village. And if you're in my age bracket, I will tell you like I tell everybody. If we don't stand up, the rest of these people keep sitting down watching TV and not understanding the whole purpose of the family. Please tell your stories. No typed comments. I wish you could hear the dramatic music playing in the background. Hold on. up to you to do the rest of these videos. I've done all I could on this subject and now I'm rocking to the music. It's up to you to let the world know what Americans really do or what we used to do. Maybe that's the only way we can fix what's wrong. What's actually wrong is us. You must have the courage to fix the family unit. Because if saving your family is not worth saving yourself, then we're lost already. Thank you. And you've been tuned. Remember, put in your video replies. It's the only way you'll be able to be seen on this movement. What you remember about family long ago and what's missing from family. Thank you. And look at that Krasilinski over there on the wall. <laughs>